The Hawaiians have a long musical tradition. Prior to the Euro-American invasion, Hawaiians didn't have writing. They sang about their life, love of flan, humor, tragedy, and ancient history with poetic melee chants. Falsetto or hai was also part of the Hawaiian tradition of melee chants. Hai is the Hawaiian female style of singing where the singer's voice breaks register and vibrates rising and falling with each breath. It continues today in Hawaiian songs. In 1832, King Kamehamehama III hired Mexican and Spanish vaqueros, or cowboys, to teach Hawaiians how to herd cattle. The vaqueros brought the guitar to Hawaii. They would play after a hard day's work on the mainland. After leaving, some of the cowboys gave away their instruments and Hawaiians infused this style into their culture. At first, there may not have been many guitars or people who knew how to play, so the Hawaiians developed a way to get the full sound from one guitar. They picked the bass and rhythm chords on three or four of the lower pitch strings with the thumb while playing the melody or imp improvising melodic fills on three or four of the higher pitch strings with their fingers. Then between the 1880s and 1890s, King David supported a renaissance of traditional Hawaiian music and dance. He encouraged the use of ukulele and guitar with traditional music. His coronation in 1883 featured the guitar, the Hawaiian ipu or drum, and pahu, skin drum. In 1899, Joseph Keku invented the steel guitar. The original steel guitar was a wooden Spanish guitar with a converter nut slipped in to raise the strings and then played with a steel bar. It was laid flat on the player's knee, so the sound was directed towards the ceiling. Hawaiian slack key guitar was known as kiho alu, which meant loosen the key. Before electric instruments were invented, manufacturers used church bell brows and coated it with German silver in order to give guitar more volume. Then in the 1920s, the first electric guitar was invented. Slacky guitar became part of the music that Peniholo would play after work or with families and friends at gatherings, and this Peniholo tradition continues to this day on the Big Island and Maui. Hawaiian slacky guitar has also evolved into a highly developed instrument and continues to influence many generations to come.